This is a video on how to make an electric kiln. I cut a propane tank like you've seen other people do. I indexed the lid so it was shut right there. It's an index mark. There's a, a vet cut the valve off. I'm gonna remove that so that the moisture can evaporate. I've noticed the moisture build up under this lid. So I used just home insulation for the lid and I welded tabs on there like that to retain the insulation and center it on the pot when you do that but uh, let me sit this down uh, in order to make this work first of all I wired it up just a junction block and I tap screws into the ends of a stove burner and I use coat hanger wire with insulation on it thermal insulation you do what you need to do but uh, then I wired it to a plug which goes to an outlet which goes to a washer cord and I made a jump connection box to go to my dryer 220 okay you don't need to do that specifically whatever you need to do the point is that it uses a stove burner on 220 melts aluminum and it's not too slow either so in order to make this I did a lot of what not to do's notice that the metal isn't touching the wires aren't touching I had problems with that initially when I was trying to just use foam insulation so what I did was I mixed up 50-50 plaster Paris and play sand plaster of Paris play sand from Home Depot mixed it in a bucket put it underneath the put it down in the bottom until the burner would press into it and sit at the right height so the wires would come through the holes I drilled I let that set up and then I mixed up some and I couldn't get it to go between I set a bucket in here between the two so it was too thick so I lost that batch and started uh, mixed just the sand and the plaster of Paris up put the bucket here's the bucket I used so I just had that bucket sitting in there and um, I put the powder down around between the bucket and this outer wall and then somebody had a good idea on YouTube to take steel wool I had a bunch of this so I pulled it out into strands and I wrapped it around in here uh, in between layers you can see a little bit of it through the wall here and packed in all the powder then I put water in it and let it seep through into the powder and set up you do not need to mix it in a bucket and then put it in you can put the powder in and then put the water and let it set up it makes it much easier and then on top I just put an extra sprinkles of sand and all here just to give it a nice top finish okay so then I I went a little nuts and made me a crucible out of a big steel bar and I welded the bottom on and I put these tabs here so I can grab it and then take a hook and pour it and then I welded up at a bed frame angle iron a little angle um, uh, mold and these are the bars that I made a few minutes ago out of scrap pieces of aluminum and a bunch of monster aluminum cans so um, this piece was left over so um, that's it I don't know what else there is to say uh, this 220 kiln is pretty cheap a burner some wire cut the tank I don't know what else there is to say. It, it works pretty good. I don't know. If it'll do uh, brass, I'll try that next. Thank you.